everyone, welcome back to Q&A Friday. We've got two questions today. The first one comes from YouTube and it asks, when to introduce the half halt to your breaker or the young horse or the off the track horse? And the answer is pretty simple and straightforward and that's as soon as you start riding them. Uh, for many riders and for me especially, the half halt is built into our muscle memory so to ride without a half halt is a little foreign. But anyway, but that's a good thing. What you, what you want to do is you can introduce it straight away um, and of course, you know, with any breaker or young horse or off the track horse, you're beginning a partnership. So the horse is learning about you and you're learning about the horse. And that's, that's probably the most important thing to bear in mind while you're teaching half halts and while you're teaching anything. Um, so you can use the half halt, but the horse might not be clear, um, might not understand exactly what you mean. So you may have to repeat yourself, you may have to repeat yourself often, you may have to increase the intensity of the half halt, and you know, you may, if the horse is completely ignoring you, which would be surprising, but not unheard of, so you may have to have a complete halt to back up your half halt. And there's nothing wrong with that, you, that it's a reinforcing, uh, you know, it's a reinforcing move, and uh, it, you know, the horse should respond better next time. Um, and then, you know, that should get increasingly better. Um, if you need, there's nothing wrong with doing several halts instead of half halts. Um, you know, uh, even if it's from, you know, trot, if you're trying to teach the half halt there and the horse, you, you've repeated, you've repeated, you've become more intense with the aid and more intense. Just sit down, close your hands and until the horse has come to the halt and then you give the reins a big pat. You may need to do that two, maybe three times. You shouldn't need to do it more than that. And then the next time you ask for a half halt, it should have a bit more meaning. So you want to, um, you know, make sure you're clear on your half halt aids as well. Like the half halt doesn't just come from the hand, it comes from the whole body. Um, it's the whole body uh, asking the horse for some attention and asking for the horse to, uh, you know, be, be mindful of the rider. And so, you know, it, it comes from the hand. It's a little, it's kind of like a heartbeat uh, in the rain from the hand and you would also for that moment for that same moment brace your back and sit down in the saddle and it doesn't last very long a half halt lasts half a second maybe if you need to repeat them they're still half a second long if you need to get more intense that's fine they're still half a second long um, yeah so in that way you start building the idea in the horse's mind of what you want when you uh, say half halt and, and to reiterate, a half halt is really just asking a horse to bring its attention back to you um, and then listen to hear what you've got to tell it next. And that's probably the most important thing to bear in mind. Um, and of course, it should be easiest on a breaker or a young horse. Um, with a, an off the track horse, you are going to uh, you, you're going to need to be really clear and really repetitive. Uh, and you want to make sure you, you, do, you do the same aid in the same way every single time so that the horse um, doesn't get it mixed up with anything else. And, and that's really common with off the trackers because, you know, they've had lots and lots of riders and, um, you know, their mouths are usually, they're usually not as soft as, you know, like a fresh breaker or a young horse. And so you want to bear that in mind. You know, the horse now has a, a regular rider and you need to be really mindful that your aids are the same all the time, every time. The other thing you can do with a horse who is ignoring your half halt is to, um, Ask for a half halt when you're heading into the wall. The wall is that natural barrier that, you know, is in front of the horse. And, you know, if you pair that with an aid, a half halt aid, then you've got additional backup um, to, you know, support your aid. And, and same again, if, you're, if you are wanting to come to a halt because the horse has been ignoring your half halt, just keep that wall in front of them and the horse will soon listen to your aids 
um, because there'll be the wall there and you will get your halt. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to use the tools that you've got, you know, on hand um, to help help you teach the horse what you want to teach it. Okay, so the next question we've got is how to prevent a horse from shying? And this is, you know, this is a really good question because so many horses, um, so many horses shy and, you know, and I don't mean the surprise shy like something jumps out you know animal jumps out of the bushes or uh, a plastic bag appears out of nowhere and the horse gets frightened i'm not talking about that kind of a shy because that is the horse's natural instinct and you know we don't want to um you know we don't want the horse sucking back inside itself and becoming numb i mean the shies that uh, you know that particular corner of the arena or that particular spot in the paddock or that particular corner on the trail ride That kind of thing that the shy that the horse always does um, How do you prevent that or how do you fix that and so what you want to? Um, what you want to bear in mind is that the horse is gaining something from that shy if uh, You know say you're on your arena and there's a particular corner that your horse does not like the, what the horse is gaining from that corner is that uh, he doesn't have to do the work. You know, he works for most of the arena and then he gets to the corner, has a little shy and, you know, your, suddenly your inside leg is off, your outside rein is, you know, floppy, your seat is out of the saddle and the horse has gotten what he wants for even just a little moment. So it's those kind of shies. If you think about them as the horse evading uh, the work or evading the aids, then it's a little bit more, um, it's a bit easier to overcome. And so the best way to uh, fix a shy, what you want to do is bring your circle or your line as far away from that point um, as the horse will come where he will ride normally. So if that means you have to cut the corner, find a line where the horse will continue to travel normally and will keep listening to you normally. And even if you have to cut the whole, you know, cut a short side off, no, no worries, do that if you have to. And then what you do is each time you go a little bit closer. And I mean, I mean a little bit, you know, it might not even be a meter. It might be half a meter closer. It might be a foot closer. So you've cut your corner, you've cut your short side off, and each time you go back around there, you're getting a foot closer and a foot closer. And then don't forget that horses need to see things with both eyes. So if you've got a problem in the same corner on both sides, you then need to start again on the other side, cutting that corner or cutting the short side off. And then gradually each time you go around, you get a foot closer, half a meter closer, every time it will yes it'll take some time but it, it doesn't matter you know it's worth taking that time because you know you're getting the horse to work for you the whole time uh you're you're going you're going around even though you have cut the corner and uh and you'll know if you're going getting too close too soon because the horse will start shying again so uh yeah make sure that those the um increments in which you're getting closer are very very small and the other thing you can do to help with all of that is as you is well before you approach the the spot that your horse likes to shy at put the horse in a little leg yield stay on your line but just bend the horse's neck a little more to the inside and have it, have it moving away from the inside leg a little bit more than usual and um, that gives the horse something to do and it puts it in a kind of extreme inside leg outside rein situation and uh, you know forces the point or pushes the point that the horse needs to listen to you and is not to pay attention to the outside to the to the spot and the other thing as a rider you can look at is the ears if you've got the inside ear on you um, then your the horse isn't going to shy if the you know if you get to a point and the horse's outside ear goes to the outside that's the horse that's the first indication you're going to get that the horse is considering a shy and so for many of you, uh, especially with warm bloods, you usually get a lot of notice. Um, thoroughbreds, not so much, uh, but definitely with warm bloods, you get much more notice. Um, you know, you'll get the ear and then, you know, slowly you'll start to get other behaviors as well. But yeah, the easiest way to fix a shy is to cut the corner or bring the short side down and then gradually go back to it. 
um, and it's worth spending the time because every time every time you fix this it'll get easier so the first time it might take who knows it might take five seven eight goes eight go rounds before you've actually gotten to you know a reasonably close um, a reasonably close proximity to the, the spot and then the next ride it might only take four or five times and the next ride it might only take three or four times so each ride you should be working on uh, getting closer to that spot sooner but again every if, if you get to that spot and the horse starts shine just move away from it again it's not a bad thing that you're not getting close to that spot because the horse is actually working for you better you don't have those steps of inconsistency that happen at the shy spot and that's really what you're aiming for um, the the worst thing you can do if you want to make a shy worse uh, tell the horse off you know give it a, a smack in the mouth or a kick in the guts um, that's that's the best way to make a shy worse or growl at them growling you know just growling at horses doesn't achieve anything because you, when you growl your body goes tense and the horse then feels that through the saddle and then the horse becomes tense and the horse says okay well I was worried before but now my rider is really worried so that's that's definitely worthy of my attention um, so yeah you, you can create more problems by telling the horse off or by punishing the horse in some way. Okay, so they are our questions for today. If you have a question of your own that you would like answered, please put it in the comments below on uh, Facebook and YouTube and I will be able to add those questions to next week's Q&A. Until then, I hope you get some great riding in. I'll talk to you soon.